Hi, my name is EJ Massa. Autumn is my favorite season. I love the leaves. I love the weather. But most of all, I love pumpkin spice lattes. True story, I once saw an Onion article about Mr. Autumn Man and I thought, they somehow got a picture of me. Well, I am Mr. Autumn Man. And because of that, I came up with this lunatic idea. What if I took the pumpkin spice flavors and combined them with baby back ribs? Look, stores are chock full of pumpkin spice treats. So it only makes sense that I use those pumpkin spice flavors on ribs. And to start, I'll need to make a rub. And for that, I'll consult my favorite pumpkin pie recipe on the back of Libby's canned pumpkin. And really, I think I'll steal the same ratios from the recipe for the spices in the pumpkin pie. To make the rub, I'll add a half cup of brown sugar, a half cup of white sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, a half teaspoon of ginger, and one fourth teaspoon of ground cloves. And then I'll mix that all together, and there we have our pumpkin spice rub. And I'll take a deep breath of that, and oh, that's what autumn smells like, my friends. And it's basically what I smell like all October. The other thing I smell like, yep, Ribs. These are nothing special, just baby back ribs from my local supermarket, Big Y. I'll season them first with my salt, pepper, garlic rub, because I can't make meat without it. Then I'm going to sprinkle on that autumn rub, making sure to cover both sides. Beautiful. Smells like my grandma's making a pie. I've done ribs lots of times, so I think I need to mix things up. I'm going to do beer can ribs. You've heard of beer can chicken, right? One of my first cooking videos on the internet is me making beer can chicken, a video in which I make a lot of dubious claims. The beer is going to get hot, it's going to steam up the insides. I don't think it's going to really add much flavor, but it's it's a novelty. You use the, the can. Did you get it? Beer can ribs is a much more stupid gimmick, so of course I'm going to do it. I have this roaster made specifically for roasting beer can chicken on the grill. You pour beer in here, and you put the chicken on top of it. It's a bit more sturdy and easier to handle than a beer can. The only reason why I own this roaster is because it was on clearance at Macy's and I do beer can chicken enough, I thought it might be worth it. But you can use a beer can or any cylinder that you think could survive the grill. To make beer can ribs, you wrap the ribs around this cup here and tie some butcher's twine around the ribs to keep them in place. I use two strands of twine and cut off any dangles that are dangling. There! Why am I doing this? It's so that the ribs can look like a pumpkin. See? In this cup in the middle, I'll actually make the barbecue sauce that will reduce while the ribs cook. Normally, of course, I like to use Sweet Baby Ray's, but I want something more distinct and pumpkin-y, so... I'm gonna make this one from scratch. We'll start with an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. I could use ketchup if I want a thicker, tangier sauce, but again, I wanted to change things up and make a thinner sauce. I put two tablespoons of the rub I just made in there, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, some sprinkles of my all-purpose rub, and a tablespoon of canned pumpkin for pumpkin-y flavor. I mixed it all together and had a taste, and it felt like it needed a little more sweetness, so I added two more tablespoons of that autumn rub, and that seemed about right. Now which grill will I use? I'm gonna use the Summit Charcoal Grill because it looks like a pumpkin. See? Add some Kingsford Blue Bag Charcoal, start it with the Snapjet starter, let it light for about seven minutes, then added some apple wood. Why am I using apple wood? Because an apple kind of looks like a pumpkin. See? Added the deflection plate, set the bottom vent to the smoke setting, and the top vent wide open while it comes up to temperature. Today, I'm not even going to use a digital probe. I'm going to go by this dome thermometer, which honestly is not all that accurate, but I do know when the dial is around 300 degrees Fahrenheit, it's usually a good temperature for my ribs, which I know from my many cooks. So I'll go by that, and I'll close down the lid to one-fourth open when it comes up to temp. It wouldn't be beer can ribs without beer, and to bring it back to the coffee drinks that I enjoy, I'll be using cold brew coffee pumpkin imperial pumpkin. It's got this mischievous looking pumpkin man on it, which I quite enjoy, but how does it taste? It's actually very uh, coffee-like. I don't get too much pumpkin. It's actually really good. It's like, it's like a cold brew coffee beer. I like it. 
I'll pour my barbecue sauce base in that metal cup in the middle and I'll fill the rest with that delicious pumpkin beer and then it's off to the grill. Where it will cook at, uh, let's say 250 degrees-ish. I don't know how off my dome thermometer is, that's just my guess. Ah, now that smells like fall. You'd think a Dunkin' Donuts filled with pigs is burning down a few blocks away, but nope, this is just the weird thing I'm doing right here in my backyard. Two hours later and the color is starting to look very pumpkin-y. The leaves are changing color colors, and so are my ribs. I decided to baste the ribs in a little bit of that sauce to up that pumpkin-y flavor. Then I close the lid for another hour, and then I'll baste it again with some sauce and wrap the ribs in foil to get it to the finish line. And about an hour later, I pulled them off. And here we go. Will this be good or will it be weird? I cut the butcher's twine, pulled the ribs off the roaster, finishing it up with that now smoky pumpkin spice sauce. And well, it definitely smells like pumpkin and pumpkin spice. <laughs> this is so weird. Hmm. The flavors don't necessarily uh, not go together, but it it is pumpkin spice ribs. It is what it is. So these ribs are in fact the most pumpkin spice ribs I've ever had. And I, I, I mean, I think they're... Uh, what how can, what can I say about these? If I went to Dunkin Donuts right now and got a pumpkin spice coffee um, It would pair perfectly with these ribs Because they're the same taste Except it's on ribs It's like if you went to the grocery store and you saw pumpkin spice Doritos on the shelf You'll think to yourself man. They they probably nailed the flavor but just because you could, doesn't mean you should. So I nailed it. I'm really proud of myself, but I'll never do it again. It was a fun challenge though. And the beer can ribs, it's an utterly pointless technique, but there's kind of an interesting presentation to it. You could probably impress your friends with it, especially if you do the barbecue sauce in the middle. Yeah, that's all I got for you today. So I hope you have a great fall. Get yourself a nice pumpkin beer or a pumpkin latte and just relax. Until next time, bye.